how to use pdx easy tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on pdx how to use it to buy sell bitcoin and crypto directly with php so let's get started first what you have to do is you can go to pdx.ph and you will get to this platform right here pdx is world's leading crypto platform that allows you to buy and sell crypto directly with php uh, you can sign up today and start trading with world's top cryptocurrencies for as low as php 200 so once you get to the platform you will have to create an account so just click on create account if you are a complete beginner and it will take you right here so we have to enter our email address and choose our country you know verify that we are not a robo and then just click on register so after the initial sign up or sign in to your account this is where you will get this is my my pdex and i'll show you how to use it uh, before we get into the features i want to clarify that this video is not a financial advice and i'm not a financial advisor trading in crypto investing involves a high degree of risk or whether you afford to lose money or not so make sure that you truly understand crypto and you truly understand php and then you can get started with the platform this is a tutorial for you guys to on how to use pdax that being said let's continue so uh once you are on pdax right this is where you will be able to see your portfolio and you can see my balance right now as a beginner of course we will not have any balance and you can see it's zero php digital assets will be shown right here and then we have flat currencies what i can do is we i can also enable two-factor security this is like for our account and then we have get started option where i can upgrade my account as well so this is like the free account that i'm using right now then this is my main portfolio i get the option of payment in payment out transfer fund and exchange right here so let me show you payment in so you can check out your payment ins right here your transfer funds the funds that you have transferred and then exchange right here then we have this panel right here i am right now on portfolio and then we have activities now activity is where i will be able to check all of my different reports and my histories of my funds of my transfers of my exchange everything will be shown right here and i can also filter my search from this option right here and i can get to the historical reports as well so we will get here like this is the simplest thing where you will be able to see your activity then we have the funds option now this is where again i'm seeing my payment in payment out transfer funds and others so if i click on payment in it will allow me to check Check again it will take me to manage fund option right here on pdex and this is where i can add my payment i can check my digital assets and then i will also be able to check my payment out and my transfer funds so what you can do is you can check your five currencies here and then we have digital assets so if you have any you will be able to see them right here then we have payment out option now this is again an option where i will be able to see my digital assets and my uh, five currencies moving on we have transfer funds so if you have funds on your pdx then again you can transfer them uh, from one token to another from one blockchain to another your digital assets or your currencies so this is where the fund is uh, you can check your funds and then we have the trade option on pdx now trade okay it's again and again asking me to check my security that's what you will also see once you create an account so make sure to also you know secure your account using pdx decks so i now i have opened up trade option and it will just take a second to open it up so it will open up the trading for you on pdex and you can see we have our fee right here and as pdex is a kind of like a philippines based trading platform we can choose different countries from here the default country is going to be a uh, philippines php right uh, so you can actually you know choose from here as well the five currency is php just keep in mind so this is going to be really good for the people uh you know if they want to trade and kind of like buy and sell crypto on php uh, so this is the uh, trading fee that we have here the type is taker and maker so for taker the fee is going to be basis point is 50 and then maker has basis point 40 uh, and now you can see like it's a little dark here i don't know why 
I wish we could change it to like a lighter mode as well. For now, it's kind of like a little dark. It says taker and basis point is 50 and then maker is basis point 40. Uh, again, we have like our fight currency here. And as I said, uh, the fight currency right now is selected PHP, but I can change it to other as well. Then we can select our digital asset. So in digital asset, again we're getting all of the coins we have bitcoin ethereum ripple usdc coin bitcoin cash litecoin uni link coin and others so i'm gonna select bitcoin and now let's check out our payment in fee so php cash in payment fee is free okay this is really good that when it comes to payment in there is no fee reward uh, minimum payment in is php 200 and maximum payment is going to be 100,000 php that we can add for bitcoin wallet payment in fee is going to be free not applicable there is no minimum fee and there is no limit when it comes to maximum payment of digital asset payment out uh, again we have php so cash out it's free when it comes to uh, even payment out is going to be free minimum 200 php and then we have maximum payment out again 100,000 PHP. Now, when it comes to payment out for BTC, wallet payment out fee is going to be 0 0.001 BTC. Now, there is a fee for payment out. And then we have minimum payment out, which is BTC 0 0.005. And then the maximum is going to be 0 0.3 bitcoin per day so this is how the fee works on pdax and it will allow you to simply get your payment in out and you can select your digital asset and of course the currency is going to be php another thing that i would like to show you on pdax is the reward and insight so if i go to my account right here and go to rewards it will show me my pdax rewards right here so for that you will actually have to verify your account and we also get our rewards so you can access them from here and then we have insights reports settings and logout of course so i'm going to go back to my portfolio the main dashboard that we get this is my portfolio and now i can just check out all of my different fight currencies which is php and digital assets and everything will be shown here this is my total balance in php in course philippines currency and you can of course add your funds first and then we will be able to to simply buy and sell uh, cryptocurrencies on php the signing up process for pdax is really easy and then using it is also really easy keep in mind that this video is not a financial advice therefore i do not want to show you something on how to invest where to invest but i'm giving you a tutorial on the platform and it's a really easy platform to use you can go ahead and check it out right now once you build your portfolio you have your funds then you will be able to actually enjoy buying and selling crypto on php really easily you can also transfer your digital assets from one token to another from one blockchain to another very easily using pdax this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. And now you know how to use PDX as a complete beginner. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel.